So what we're doing today is we're going to destroy the great venous vein using RFITT, the radio frequency way of closing the veins. And then we're going to just pull out the large phlebectomies or the large varicosities using phlebectomy technique, bind them up, and then all that will be left to do will be a little bit of foam sclerotherapy into the neovascular tissue, which will destroy what's remaining, the remaining neovascular tissue. So that's the deep vein, and this is the superficial one just here. So we want to destroy that vein right up to the groin, so we just mark the top location. So the first thing we're going to just put in some local anaesthetic. And we have to do this in line with the ultrasound. So we're putting it in line with the longitudinal axis of the ultrasound probe. And we can now see it on the screen and we're coming down and you can see the veins actually very small atrophic at this point and then we're just going to nick the skin as we go through so it doesn't and that puts the whole of the introducer into the vein we did a whole assembly out and this of course is the saldinger technique pull that out and then this is the radio frequency catheter showing the two electrodes at the end so this is an this is an autofill syringe which makes life an awful lot easier the autofill syringe is just a syringe that you can give 20 mils and this one actually you gives 12 mils at a time and it's through a green needle and it's got a one-way valve here so every time you open it up it sucks some of the tumescence in and every time you uh, inject it it comes out through here so there's no switching with a, a, a tap. And there we can see just in ne right next door to the vein which is highlighted by the RFITT the little bit of white that's just gone in there was a little bit of air and you always get that in the first couple of pumps it's just a few bubbles but it always looks impressive on ultrasound and you can see there what's called the eye of aurus as the uh, as the eyes opened in other words what we're doing is between the two fascial planes we're actually putting all the local anesthetic as tumescence Okay, now for the RFITT device, what we need to do is, because it's only marked every 10 centimetres and we need to bring it back at a set rate, what we do is we set it exactly where we want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to set ourselves up to begin with exactly where we want. So actually I'm quite happy with that, where it is, because with the laser it fires forwards and we've got to be careful to leave, whereas with radio frequency we know exactly where the burning's going to be. 